Hello everyone, Wanda here, and I'm going to be doing kind of a big project here. It's going to take uh, some time, so gather a notepad and take some notes. So what we're going to be doing is this springtime, beautiful spring woman swipe. This was done by AB Creative on YouTube. She's a magnificent art teacher who just does beautiful things. Anyways, we're not going to do it exactly like this, but I'm going to try to do some things like this. Anyways, um, it's under Beautiful Spring Woman Swipe at AB Creative on YouTube if you want to watch it and um, get the gist of what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm doing it backwards. So, I'm going the other direction with it. And I'm doing it on a rock. <laughs> so, it's a, a much more condensed version. I think this, I think it was an 11 by 16, I think. I'm not sure. Anyways, with that said, I'll be using the Arteza Pouring Acrylic Colors. These beauties. And, um, I'll also be using some folk art, the enamels, and some different brushes, and then my stencils I have cut out of Duck Brand Easy Liner Adhesive. It's, you know, a contact paper, basically. It's clear contact paper. So I just cut out a piece and that's the same thing I used the other day on the black one I did. So I'll be using both of these pieces. Um, this was actually the cutout from the inside of this, so it's working out pretty well. So what I'm going to do is remove um, the paper part and lay down this part of the face. like so and the hand if I can get them apart there we go little trick I learned use some tape to pull it apart <laughs> and put that right like that so you're looking for I know it's hard to see but that's probably not on right let's see more like One more try. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave it just like that. It's probably good. All right. Then I'm going to mix up some paint here really quick. Using, that is Hydrangea by Folk Art Superior Coverage Enamel. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the Arteza Neon Blue in there just to give it just a little bit of a darker color. And mix. I 
is still too light. Okay, we're going to go with that. Okay, and I'm not pouring this part on. I'm painting this one on. And this is going to be the front. And I'm doing it in a different order than the way AB Creative did it. She did the the pour part first and then she painted the face but I don't know <laughs> I want to do it this way so and I am going to do this part of back here just in case our swipe doesn't go all the way. Oops. I'll definitely have to touch up under that guy. And we got the lawn, or the, yeah, lawnmower and weed eater going next door. So, it is that time of year. I think I murdered the hand. <laughs> Let's see. Not too bad, huh? Okay, always save your pieces because you never know when you're going to want to use them again. Right? And so because this is sky, you don't have to make it, you know, perfect. Just don't have like big brush strokes in it. part of my shoulder. I did a, a fix there. This one. Okay. I think that looks pretty okay. What do you guys think? So for the next part, I gotta let this dry. Then I'm gonna be laying this down here and we'll be doing uh, the swipe on this part back here. Yay. So while this is drying, I'm gonna touch up my hand here with some white paint. I just, I don't know if you can see it, put a little dot of white paint on my desk. And I'm just going to add in my fingers, add them back. Try to take the arthritis out of the hand. <laughs> All the bumps, you know.
okay probably need a couple of coats here And I'm going to go ahead and do around the face, too. Okay, guys. Um, so let's talk about what I am working with today. I ordered the Arteza, or Arteza, 32-pack of pouring acrylic colors. I'm trying to get this under there so you can see. This pack... It's high flow, water based. Um, anyways, there's a whole bunch of colors. So today I'm working with the neons again. And the last swipe I did, they turned really dark. And I'm sure they're going to darken up again, but I'm hoping that because I'm working with white this time, a white swipe color but it might be not as dark I'm hoping <laughs> so I have some little cups here I don't the only thing I'm gonna mix though is uh, some white titanium white pouring color acrylic oops it's not open let me grab one that is okay so I'm gonna use Titanium white pouring acrylic. And this is going to be my swipe color too, so I'm also going to add silicone. And that is treadmill belt lubricant, 100% silicone. And I'm going to stir that up. Okay, I'm going to apply my other sticker here. It has just enough on there. <laughs> enough sticky left you know <laughs> and I'm just going to take my finger and just sort of seal the edge of it with the white here I don't want it really spilling under that not really I'm kind of letting it dry just a bit, not really dry, but you know, seal up so that when I pour, it won't go under the stencil. Whew. Girl, get it out. <laughs> oh, you guys put up with so much. All right, also you wanna have a spatula. 
handy. A paintbrush, you know, a liner brush or something. So if you need to do any little touch-ups, maybe a toothpick or a dotting tool if you got to pop bubbles or pull anything out of there. A torch for popping bubbles. And I think we're ready. Okay, so I'm just going to put just, just a tad around the face, not, not a ton. And I'm going to use my spatula. I don't know why I call it that. <laughs> I caught myself doing that in another video too. Spatula. Who do I know that talks like that? Okay, now the fun part. We are going to layer some paint. <laughs> I'm going to start with lavender. Look at the cells. Oh, it's going to be great. I think anyways. Oops, that's a little too far on our face. Yeah, we don't want our face purple, do we? <laughs> Silly me. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let me try that again. Okay, lavender. Get some green neon. Yellow. Pink. Uh, purple neon. Blue neon. I think we're good. Okay, so we gotta put the white color here to swipe with. It's probably too much. Put some down here. Okay. All right, guys, hold your breath. You ready? I'm gonna move it over this way a bit so I can have some working room. Please work. Okay, I'm gonna just let it sit there for a second. Mm -hmm. Not 
it was too straight. All right, here we go. All right, you guys ready to see what we got? Fingers crossed for sales. Yes. Oh, I'm a happy girl right now. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes I am. Now I just hope they stay together. Yeah. You know, when it doesn't just turn into a big thing. So with this over here, let's play for a minute while this is resting. We have to let it rest. I'm going to do this little stuff down here real quick. Okay. All right, let's see what we got over here. Let's do some <laughs> fun. These are for hiders. Yes. And then you can add a word. Uh -huh. Use up some of this paint. I hate wasting paint, but silly. This looks seriously ridiculous. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll put those to the side to dry. Okay, I think it's settled just a bit. Not that it's anywhere near dry. It, it will take hours for that, but you want to remove your stencil while it's wet, and I think it's buckled, so I think I'm going to have some more touch-ups to do, but yeah, you want to remove that while it's workable. Ah, good job here. Okay, yeah, definitely got some touch-ups to do. And if you can, clean off as much of that as, from your stencil as you can so that you can reuse it. I know I didn't do it with the black, but good idea to just wipe it off and then set it aside so you can use it again. And we'll touch up our face while we're waiting for the other side to dry. Yay. So I'm just going to go around with my blue paint that I made earlier and just bring it back.
and she's coming back to life. Let's get rid of her double chin. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna just put some waves in the hair here, like around the top. Oh, sorry, I'm off camera. So you can see the waves in the hair up there. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, please let it dry good. <laughs> Definitely. So in the AB Creative, she has added, see the blue back into the hair, so it looks like it's there's some air in the hair. I'm nervous about doing that, so I think I'm just going to leave it alone because I'm not that good. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not that good. Also, I need to put some paint in here. Looking good. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing down here. Uh, I think it was supposed to be part of the swipe and I just didn't go in uh, far enough. So we're figuring it out together, y'all. But you can learn from my mistakes and when you do yours, it can be more perfect, right? Torch that and see if I can level it out a bit. All right, so now we have to let it dry, and then once it's dry, we'll come back in and put some embellish it with some flowers and sequins and maybe a butterfly I don't know yet I think I'm gonna put a butterfly here yeah all right guys I'll see you in a jiffy okay guys this has turned out so beautiful so far we still got to dry a tad bit more and then I don't know if you can see it but you could the silicone that we used there we got to clean that off really really well because we can't seal it with resin unless that silicone is all the way gone because it will just be a disaster so but look how gorgeous oh my gosh so fun thing the flowers that are in miss spring hair see those flowers she made them by putting paint on silicone mat right and I'll show you here how it was done I'm not um I made them in advance so for the tutorial so I could not have to wait because they take a day to dry so 
Anyways, this is the other paint I had put it up. So basically you just want to do five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure they're substantial. And have two or three different colors that you would like to see as flowers, okay? And then, um, I used a dotting tool, if I could find it, there we go. Uh, you just basically pull them together in the middle, the little petals, like so, okay? And then do a little bit of fancy, not fancy, just mix some colors in with them, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just swirled everything together in no particular fashion. <laughs> The key is to let them dry all the way because they just crumble if you try to peel them early. So I'm going to wipe that off so that I can peel these and show you how uh, to peel them once they're dry. <clears throat> let me move our beauty out of the way. Okay, so you take your silicone mat. And you're going to want to roll these off. So this one I already took off. <laughs> oh, sorry. This one I took off already. And they're very, very delicate, so be super careful. Okay, so basically you want to roll them off. So you basically get under your mat, pinch it, and roll very carefully and there's another one Oops. it's not easy if you have a pair of tweezers easier if you have some tweezers handy this one's broken but Let's see if I can get it off And I don't know if I'm going to use the big ones, but they were kind of tester samples. This is so fun. Oops. I tore that one. That's a cutie, too. Darn it. They're very delicate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and roll these off. Okay, so she is pretty dry. I am going to use some talc, not talc, I'm sorry, cornstarch. And uh, this is just what I have handy. You can use regular cornstarch, cooking cornstarch from a bag. And I'm going to get rid of the silicone on here and just rub this in and you'll see it kind of start balling up you can see kind of the little balls yeah, that's the silicone. Okay, dust that off. Get it in your flowers. <laughs> and then take a bit of uh, soapy water. Dawn dish soap is the best thing to use. And I'm going to spray that on my microfiber towel here. And 
clean the residual which will get any leftover silicone and help you with the uh, cornstarch removal. Okay, let that dry for a few minutes. We should be good to go with the resin. Okay, so you bet you're wondering, how is she gonna put these flowers on there, right? Well, don't you worry your pretty face. I am going to put these flowers on here with paint. But before I do that, I'm going to apply a butterfly tattoo in her hand. So I'm going to use this one here. When you're using tattoos, you want to cut as close as cut as uh, close as you can. Cut them out, and don't forget they have a protective film on them. Okay. And I want this to sit basically on her palm, so <laughs> I can't see through it. I see you can see through it a little bit, but so I'm trying to. Is it gonna touch her face? Ah, it might be too big. You know, I think I'll just let it float in the air. I am going to cut it even closer so that I can see. Okay, you want to use clear, clean water. Make sure it's exactly where you want it when you press down because it has a sticky layer that uh, if you try to move it, it will be a disaster. So try to only wet the back of this since we're still working with semi-fresh paint, even though it's dry. You don't want to test, you know. <laughs> so try just to stick to the back of the tattoo. Stay on the paper. Gorgeous. Okay. And then dab that dry. Okay, and then for these, the paint that I saved from the background here, I am just going to, first I'm going to see where I want to put my flowers. So I think I want to build a... <clears throat> Would that be a headband? Yeah, I'll do it with the small ones.
this pink one fell apart, but we can just glue it right back together. <laughs> get over there. Anyways, you get the idea. So there's a little headband, I think, and then we'll put a few around in her hair. Um, I wanted other color ones, so what I'm going to do is glue these on, and then I'm going to add paint dots on top of them because it, it'll kind of give me a solid surface solid color surface, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop here with that. I don't like this one. So, just have these spread out and then we'll add some other colors to them. Right? Might use this little pink one too. And just blend into everything. All right, I think that's it. Okay, so to apply them, just gonna add a little dab of paint to the back side and put it on there. Eek, and it wants to curl, so. And I'm going to use white on this side because the white paint there. Beautiful. Okay, I think I'm going to add some stuff to the flowers. This is neon pink. And I'm going to be putting uh, rhinestones as well, probably in the centers, especially of our headband. Okay, then I'm going to get the blue, neon blue.
purple, neon purple. Okay, flowers done. Now I'm going to put a little eyelash, and this is going to be tricky, tricky. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Finger painting, anybody? You go put the eyelash first and then. Okay. I'm going to just detail just a bit here. Trigger our nostril.
Alright guys, what do you think? I don't know. I think I like it. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we'll have to obviously let the flowers dry and then add some rhinestones uh, to the flowers. Do you like her? I'm not loving the eye. <laughs> I'll probably work on it a bit or the eyebrow or something something's not right there okay guys I added in an eye lash and an eyebrow just uh, with a liner brush that same color I was working with on the the other part of the rock anyways just you want to do like an arch for the eyebrow and then a smile for the eye lid and then another smile for the eyelash but you want to lighten that with some white for the eyelash just uh, you know make it a tad bit lighter so that it will show on the blue out there and I'm still waiting for the darn flowers to dry the little bits that we added in there. But isn't she beautiful? Guess what? We're dry. How exciting is that? Okay, so I'm going to add the resin and then we will add rhinestones into the resin. So let's pick out some rhinestones. Yay! I think she has to be my favorite uh, rock. <laughs> yes, that I've painted. Oh my gosh, too much fun. All right, I have some little butterfly rhinestones that uh, are calling. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not. What do you think on an ear? Where is her ear? Heck if I know. <laughs> oh, we can put one up here in her. Um, yep. In her flower tiara. Okay. Let's get down to business here. Pretty. I sprayed um, the painting, the rock with Rust-Oleum 2X just to make absolutely certain that the silicone was covered and would not be an issue even though I know I washed it I just want to make sure because I don't want for any reason this one to be accidentally injured <laughs> I trust myself but you know accidents happen so I think I think it's very pretty and I'll put some bigger ones around the hair
Okay. Oop, that's all. So that will be our rhinestones. And that just makes it like <laughs> perfect. Okay, so with those out, I'm going to dump them off the side. We. I'm going to get my riser rock. This is for inside the light to rise up my painting, my rock painting. Now the resin. I am just almost out. I'm pretty sure this will be my last rock with UV resin until I get some more which I don't know when that'll be <laughs> all right but it was great while it lasted mr. resin I think I'm going to add a little more over here. Okay, I got to change the gloves and be sure not to touch anything. torch that Okay, all torched, ready to go. Just going to drop these rhinestones in here. Sorry, I popped that in the light. <laughs> I put all the rhinestones on and now I'm just curing it for... Um, 120 seconds and I'll do that three times with my 84 watt or 82 watt beetles light uh, sorry about that I put it on pause and forgot to unpause it so I'll be right back all right guys it's finished take a look at this what should we call her flower power flower child just beautiful we'll just call her beauty <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me today you guys I hope you enjoyed this awesome girl here she really made me very happy so I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did um Come over and visit us at Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques on Facebook for some other tu tutorials and tips and tricks and fun. We have lots of friends over there. Um, thanks for hanging out and I will see you again real soon. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like and hit that bell and YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading. See you soon.